All right, what is going on, YouTube fellow collectors? Today, it's going to be an unboxing of my wife. Obviously, you know, it's here, it's in my collection, but this is mainly for the wife, since Rogue is her favorite character, and you know, you can't have Rogue without Gambit. So, today we're gonna be unboxing and taking a look at the Marvel Legends series Rogue in the Juggernaut wave. This wave is one wave that I actually really, really want. I like this Juggernaut Builder figure. Everything I can get fairly easily. This Deadpool I don't care about because he doesn't have, he doesn't come with a Builder figure piece, and I already have the new Deadpool wave Deadpool, so I can do without him. But everyone else I actually do want, and I know he's kind of hard to get. I've seen some without the Builder figure piece, but I'm trying to get it complete because I want to make that bad boy right there so let's get into her in a second and without her you're going without or with rogue you can't have rogue without gambit so i do not have the marvel legends gambit i found out there was one so the next best thing is going to be the marvel select gambit so as you can tell marvel uh, marvel select and the Hasbro Marvel Legends are gonna not be quite to scale, but they scale pretty well since Rogue is tall and this Gambit is pretty big as well. So we'll take a look at the side for Rogue and Gambit. And then you saw the back here. So this is, I guess, whatever comes in this wave. There's no build a figure or anything, but this is what comes with the other side and right there so we'll go take a look at rogue first and let's see how she is all right so let's take a look at rogue first marvel legends x-men let's go crack it open and see how she is bam so she comes with one right hand a gloveless hand and the juggernaut the left leg of juggernaut man this is a pretty heavy piece for a builder figure then again, you know, Juggernaut is a huge character. So I do want to complete this Juggernaut because it's an X-Men figure and I, I'm i not super huge into like collecting whole waves, but this one I am. So if you guys have any other build -a figure pieces or part of the wave that's complete, please let me know and let's get to talking. So left leg of Juggernaut, let's go pull it out real quick. And let's take a look at her. So here she is. Her belt is a loose piece, and I believe these ribbon things. Oh, also her like the top of her boot is a loose piece. So when she kneels and does poses, that piece is loose. This little ribbon and the top of her boot for both, and her glove cuff. So those are all loose pieces, which I think is pretty cool. It gives it some aesthetic and posability as opposed to, you know, something that's flat. But it does look kind of weird if you can't get her in the right position. She's actually a really nice figure. I like her build. I like the, the quality of her, the sculpt. And I like the jacket. I love how she can raise her hand up pretty high. A little X-Men logo right there. X-Men logo right there. Um, her head moves side to side pretty well. Side to side, left and right. She doesn't move back at all just because of her hair. I like how her hair has different types of shading, obviously the white in the front, and how her, I guess headband? Yeah, her headband is flowing in the wind, which I think is pretty cool. And I like how my, my Rogue has, um, has decent eyes, because I've seen these in store, and some, some rogue's eyes are pretty jacked. So I'm glad that the one I got came with um, nice, perfectly, or not perfect, but nice symmetrical eyes. So oh, there's a scrape, but whatever. Um, I like how the green is metallic, has like a nice metallic sheen to it. Also the yellow. The yellow up here is kind of flat compared to the rest of her body. Um, I'm not sure why that is, but it doesn't bother me none. I like how she can bend back pretty well. Yeah, overall, she's a really good figure. Really nice, really sturdy. Um, 
I think it's like a remold. Let me see. No, it's not a re it's not a repaint because I thought she was like the same color as the Dark Phoenix Jean Grey. I think it's like the same sculpt, maybe, but the paint she reminds me a lot of Jean Grey. But I do I am digging this color. So there you go. Rogue looks pretty nice. Looks really good. All right, let's move on to Gambit. All right, so the Gambit figure I'm probably gonna have to unbox off screen just because look how huge he is. And unfortunately, this type of packaging is once you open it, it is done. So I'm probably not gonna keep this uh, packaging. I'm just gonna throw it away. But it's really sad and unfortunate because I like the card art right there. It has Gambit Special Collector Edition action figure. And let's unbox him and see how he looks. Okay, so he was way more difficult than I would have liked to to get out of his packaging. I do, although I do appreciate the twisty ties, but man, they're a pain and they take forever to take out. But nonetheless, here he is out of the packaging. Let's see what he comes with first. He comes with two right hands. Whoops, find that. He has two right hands. So one for holding the one set, like this, the two flaming cards or the three flaming cards like that. And the other one is this open palm-ish hand, which is for the throwing flaming effect piece, which I think is really cool. I like how it's done. I like the plastic that they use. I like the colors, which I think overall is cool. So it fits in just like that. It fits in pretty snug and won't go anywhere. It's nice. And then the last thing he comes with is another set of throwing hands. But I'm not exactly sure where this goes and how he's supposed to hold it. So maybe, you know, if you squeeze it in, it goes like that. But then again, it's going to look like a sword more than like a throwing effect. So that's what he comes with. So, oh, also he comes with his little staff. Um, right off the bat. I'm really digging this head sculpt. I really like how nice and detailed that is. I like his hair. I don't know, I just like how, how swept his hair is. I think it looks really cool. I love his head. I love how his eyes, if you can see that, how his eyes are all red. His nice little goatee. The paint on mine looks really good for his head mask. I like the wear and tear of his torso. So he doesn't really have much of a crunch, but he has a like little bit of torso rotation. I like the colors, the paint on here is really clean, except for that, but that doesn't bother me none. His boots look really nice. I really love the cape. I love the distressed look and like the worn, like battered look of his, well, sorry if I said cape, I meant his coat. Um, his arms, the only thing that does kind of suck is that his arms don't go directly next to it, but I guess that's okay. It comes with the territory. So, yeah, this guy looks really, really nice. Marvel Select, first one. Um, I don't know if I really want to collect Marvel Select figures, maybe every, like, every so often, just because they're not to scale with everything else. But with this, this one is pretty nice. You can see how Gambit, I guess, is supposed to be taller than Rogue, so... They match up pretty well. So I'm glad to have these two in the collection. Oh, and one more thing I forgot. Gambit comes with um, these Danger Room pieces. Comes with two pieces. I don't really want to take it out because I don't really know. Well, I don't really want to assemble it right now. But it comes with two walls and then a base right here. They're a lot bigger than I expected them to be. So that's nice. Oh, yeah. Gambit looks really dope. Love his little card throwing hand. Let's go put that right there. Let's see if we can, whoops. See if he can hold it. Let's try to do this in one shot just so. Plus editing for me since I'm still new to it. And bam, he holds it pretty well. Look how nice that is. Yeah, it's one of my favorite figures so far. Looks really nice, looks really clean. All right, guys, so this is my unboxing and quick overview for the Marvel Legends Rogue and the Diamond Select, Marvel Select Gambit. Yeah, look at that shot. Look how clean it is. Yeah, so 
these two really really nice figures if you guys don't have them i'd seriously consider getting them they are real clean and you know you can't have one without the other so thank you guys for watching appreciate all the support so far i've been getting a lot of love from uh, the Facebook community I'm in and overall on Instagram. So if you guys don't know my Instagram, please subscribe to it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.